Welcome ladies and gents. So Fallout TV show for Amazon Prime has been happening for some time. Uh, it, it's been in the works for some time. But now we're getting actually some first photos from the set. And some slight spoilers here. Just as an FYI, I guess, if you don't want anything revealed. But these set photos reveal the first look at a game accurate vault tech jumpsuits, power armor, and some other bits and pieces. So I think this is interesting, personally. I'm covering this since the start. Um, there's a lot of positive elements to this. Amazon Prime is very hit or miss with their shows. The latest thing which they knocked out of the park was, of course, Terminal List. They've done really, really well with that. So, now, this article notes that it looks like the series has taken its cues from Fallout 4 or 76, something that was evident from a video that surfaced earlier this month showing a live-action Super Duper Mart which you can also see below. I didn't see that, actually. Taking that into account, all signs point to this TV show being heavily inspired by those hit games rather than Fallout New Vegas or really installments. I think that's probably the way forward. I mean, not 76, but Fallout 4 for sure. Uh, the logline for the show is, The world of Fallout is one uh, where the future envisioned by Americans in the late 1940s explodes upon itself through a nuclear war in 2077. The magic of the Fallout world is the harshness of the wasteland set against the previous generation's utopian idea of a better world through nuclear energy. Now, they've got a good cast. Walton Goggins is amazing. Uh, Ella Purnell, Carl McLaughlin, uh, Zelia Mendez-Jones, and Aaron Moten. So, we've got the Westworld creators, Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. They've developed the series. And Jonathan Nolan is going to be directing the first episode. So, interesting. Let's take a look, shall we? Because again, I think this stuff is very, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, this is uh, the vault Tech jumpsuit. That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. Now, obviously, FYI, it doesn't look right because of the setting. I mean, they're literally in a soundstage area, right? You can see the stage in the background. So, you know, as it stands, it doesn't look the best because of where it is. But that looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. Um, now, this is presumably a vault. But it also could be anywhere. You know, this could literally be anywhere. But this is presumably a vault. Uh, or one of the underground bunkers. Uh, anyway. So that's cool. Like this. Like this a lot. Uh, I think this looks good. This looks to be a set mid, mid, like mid process being built. Um, which is interesting because, of course, like, I mean, this is this is ready to go. Um, the shoes are good, actually. I didn't show you the shoes. The shoes are quite good. Um, but yeah, this is mid mid build process. You can literally see someone in the back here, and it looks like it's not fully dressed. Like, there's elements at the top here that needs to be painted for brickwork by the looks of it because of the separation. Who knows? But it looks pretty decent. Uh, keen to see how this comes together. Power armor. Oh yes, ladies and gents. So power armor from the top to the bottom. You can see more stuff down there. That looks sick. Doesn't that look cool? Now, a lot of people will probably look at that and go, well, it looks a bit too clean. I, I, I think, like, everything looks better well, you know, lit for a, uh, a, you know, lit properly for shooting. So that looks cool. I think, I think the power arm is awesome. I think they nailed that. It's huge too. I mean, it should be. But I think they've nailed... Um, certain elements they look to have absolutely nailed. Like, that looks great. The thing about some of these shows are now is where you need to get to is basically can we look as good as some of the top cosplayers? Because the top cosplayers are the ones to emulate. Quite frankly. I think they nailed that. Um, so we've got some uh, set dressing elements here, which again look to be uh, probably for a, a vault, um, by the looks of it, you know, uh, switches and lines and stuff like that. They look good. I mean, it's a quick blurry photo that someone's just quickly sort of taken, but they look good, don't they? A little bit of rust and patina on them down here. Doesn't that look cool? They've done really well on some of this stuff. Some of this looks great. 
Now again, should we get super duper excited? Meh. I mean, some people just want to enjoy stuff, so I understand. Uh, I think there's a lot of positive elements to this. Amazon Prime, when they pour money into something, they, they can be good. FYI, I know a lot of people will be like, well, the rings of power. Yeah, I get that. I understand. Um, but there's not... As much as there is Fallout lore to adhere to, I think you can go anywhere with this stuff whilst not shitting on established lore. So I think that's probably going to be the way that they move with this, and I think that that works. Um, I think the problem with the likes of the Rings of Power is that there's such long-established law, they didn't really have any creative freedom with it. Not that they needed it, they didn't need creative freedom, but they wanted it, and obviously thus couldn't do it. Um, but I think this looks great. Like All of this stuff looks awesome. If this is anything to go by, like again, they have such a such a difference in quality levels between their shows like the terminal list incredible amazon prime's lord of the rings series looks proper lame um and then this looks really good so they're very up and down in terms of their quality but look, this looks great this looks really really good um i'll be curious to see who that is in there if it is anyone um one of the actors or not doesn't look body shape wise like it would be but it might be so, I hand it on over to you. What do you think? Are we remotely excited for this? Giving it a chance? What do you think? Let me know down below. For me, I think a lot of this stuff does actually look really, really good. Um, lots of positivity about some of these things anyway. So, yeah. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. Uh, if you're new here, do hit subscribe. Ladies and gents, follow me over on Twitter at Mistake Reviews. Links to my Instagram and other bits and pieces are down below in the description box. So, like I said, if you're new here, do hit subscribe. I'd love to have you here more often. But drop your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me. By my graphic designer, we of course have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, t-shirts. We've got Space Jeebus. Uh, and then for something a little bit different, we of course have right down at the bottom right here, we have our Pulsar GTIR. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.